So exciting update on this 3.6 conversion for my TT. So you've seen that I've done many things, electrical stuff, stereo stuff, the grill's now done, um, some of the lighting is mostly done and up and running, but now it's time to get to the good stuff and convert the front wheel drive over to four wheel drive. So come and have a look to see what's going to be involved. Back here, we've got the donor car 3.2 um, Quattro vehicle. Where you would have already seen that I've taken out the rear drivetrain. All right, so behind me, the, one of them is the 3.6, but first the drivetrain needs to be converted over from there onto under here. So let's have a look. Now this is the fuel control module and underneath is the plug for the fuel pump. All right, we've gotten somewhere and it's pretty major in that the front wheel drive um, subframe and rear running gear is all disconnected and I have taken out the fuel tank as well. So I'm gonna just show the major differences between the two subframes and also the fuel tank too. Probably looked like shit because fuel leaked into my eye as I was disconnecting the fuel filter but anyway, moving on. This is the 
front wheel drive subframe looking at it as if you were from the back of the car and then the same view of the quattro drive train and rear subframe there's the rear diff Same view as if you were from the back of the car. You can see there are some similarities, but some differences as well. And that's the front wheel drive fuel tank. So I've managed to line up the fuel filler spout and put in, there are two little bolts up there, little 8mm bolts, don't know if you can see it, hold on, there they are, the two little 8mm bolts, the black ones on the edges of the screen, being able to get those in first while jacking up the Quattro fuel tank. So just to quickly show which nuts I was able to do up first from underneath of the Quattro tank, it's the two nuts at the black bracket which helps hold the exhaust as well. So I'm just going to keep going and tightening these up before I drop the jack. Alright, next thing are the, are the tank straps here. And guessing it'll be here and along there to the other to the driver's oh, sorry passenger side. And so you know it is the front wheel drive car. This is the, the exhaust. Oh, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's only one oxygen sensor in that one from the 2 litre um, engine. Um, how else to show? We'll go outside. There's the Quattro. And the black one. Alright, I've got the fuel tank securely in. There's just one um, bracket that's missing. The special one for the Quattro setup that I'll do later on. And you can see that I've wheeled the subframe in under there, the Quattro one with the diff in the middle. Now I've also, you can see there's the lift pump and I've just attached the module onto the Quattro's fuel tank and I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I think it will. I'm hoping that it'll just start up like normal. There's a big dirty puddle under there and it stinks like fuel now, but whatever. Join the two fuel, um, fuel filter and fuel run hoses to the engine. So let's have a look. Alright, so there's the fuel level. So that's the job pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, I was expecting it to all fit up and everything through just looking at the floor plans and looking at schematics. Um, but yeah, it's all 
pretty much plug and play and I'm pretty happy that the fuel tank or the fuel pump just plugs in as well so we'll see how it goes with the test drive but for now I've just got to go back where I've come from um, change the calipers over from the V6 setup to the Quattro one and sorry to the front wheel drive car getting confused because everything's a bit mixed up at the moment and and yeah after that it'll just be the 3.6 conversion and that will be the most interesting part for now thanks for watching